Hi everyone, so today Ivy and I are going to do some work on her studiness. Now studiness has never been a particular strength of Ivy's and since her season she seems to have gone back a stage in a lot of her training. So we're going to start nice and easy and see how she gets on with each stage as we start building back up to the level that we were at. Um, we're using the place board to try and help so she's got a nice clear target area of exactly where she needs to be and it makes it nice and easy for me to tell if she has slipped up and crept out of position at any point. Um, and we'll just see how we get on. You ready? So you can't really see it, but to start off, I've got Ivy sat on her place board. Um, I'm going to walk a few steps away and then I'm just playing about with the level of distraction that I can create with my dummies. So you'll see here, I start out by just dropping the dummy by my side. So it's really not very exciting, starting at a nice easy level. I then wait a few seconds to check that she's going to remain steady while it's out there, which she does. So then I pick it back up, walk back in and then click and reward her for staying in place. I then do the same, but I make this throw a little bit more interesting to my other side. And then again, I go pick it up and then go back in click when I'm with her and then reward her. Now, when we were initially starting out with this sort of training, I would be breaking her or releasing her between each repetition. Um, as we are progressing on now, and I know that she's kind of getting the gist of things, I'm making it a bit harder, so she's having to stay in place for a few repetitions before she's then released off the board. So that's one factor that you can play about with throughout the exercise. If you want to make it easier, you give breaks after every repetition. If you want to make it really, really tough, you get the dog to stay there throughout the whole exercise before giving them a break. I'm working in between. I think I started out, we did two reps and then given a break. And then after that, I think I do about four reps before each break. So we're starting to get her to concentrate for longer periods of time, um, but making sure that we're not making it too challenging for her. So another couple of successful repetitions there where I'm throwing the dummy out so it's in line with me. So if you're looking from above, between the dummy, me and the dog would be a bit of an L shape or a right angle. Um, and she's showing that she's got no issues with that. One other thing to note is that I was kind of changing my position throughout this exercise so that she's starting to generalise that behaviour nice and quickly rather than me just standing still um, in the same position every single time. And then I'm just progressing on by making the way that I throw the dummy a little bit more interesting. So this time I'm going to throw it so it lands in line with her. And so with each of these repetitions, I am standing still after I've thrown the item to make sure that she is definitely remaining in place. And then as a good habit, I'll always go and pick the dummy up first before I then go in to reward her for remaining in place. And then as we progress this exercise on, I'm sort of imagining that we are on a clock face. So Ivy is the centre of the clock, I'm at 12 o'clock when I'm throwing the dummy, and in that instance I threw the dummy to land at 3 o'clock, so it was in line with her at a bit of a right angle. And as we make it a little bit harder, I start to throw the dummy to land further around that clock. So on that occasion, it was probably at about eight o'clock. So starting to go slightly behind her. And then I just start to progress it on further. So this time I throw the dummy so it really goes over her head and lands about four or five o'clock on that clock face. And then I repeat that again, just on the other side. So this one lands around seven or eight o'clock on that clock face. And as we're continuing to get success, I am now gonna push on to a level that I wasn't sure we were gonna get to in this session based on how she'd been behaving recently. So on this occasion, I throw it directly over her head to land at six o'clock. Now you'll notice that she did rotate on the place board then to look at where that dummy was landing and that's absolutely fine with me. I want her to be marking these dummies as they land as long as she's not coming out of position. So she's staying on that place board and so that works for me. And because she did so well with that, I then rewarded her with the opportunity to retrieve. Now if you did want to make this whole exercise more challenging, you could mix in some more retrieves as you're going throughout because what that will do is build more anticipation in your dog because they're starting to think oh is she going to send me or is she not and that anticipation will naturally make the exercise more challenging for them so that is a factor that you can add in and play about with 
and now that she's shown me that she can remain steady while I throw dummies at all points of our clock face, I'm now up to the ante and introducing multiple dummies. So on that occasion I threw one at 3 o'clock and one at 9 o'clock. And now I'm going to go again, but this time introducing three dummies. So that one went out at 9 o'clock, one at 3 o'clock and then another to go over her head at 6 o'clock. Again, she remained in place, so I go and pick them up and then give her a nice big reward for that. And then the final repetition we did in this session was still using the three dummies, but this time I'm making it more challenging by making the dummies land closer to Ivy. So the temptation is much higher because she could very easily break and get the dummy before I could stop her. Um, she remained beautifully steady there, so I was really pleased with that. So a nice big reward with the tennis ball. And that was our session complete. <laughs>